Welcome to Good Libations, our program about mixology. I'm Ethel Andrews. I'm a mixologist. And today we're going to make a drink that is very popular, usually as a brunch drink, but people love it on other occasions too. They love it on festive occasions, and it's a traditional drink that's been around for quite a while. It kind of fell out of popularity for a while, like many of these good drinks have done, but it's made a resurgence again in recent times, and it's the Ramos Fizz, or as it used to be widely mispronounced back in the past uh, as the Ramos Fizz. And this drink kind of has an interesting history. Um, whoever invented it, I do not know, so to speak, but it became immensely popular popular in New Orleans via a bartender named Albert Martin, who worked at one of the most popular establishments in New Orleans. And a Ramos Fizz is an interesting drink. It requires a couple of ingredients that can be a little bit difficult to get, one of which is orange flower water. And the other um, is the fact that Ramos Fizzes used to require egg white as kind of a foaming agent. And I personally do not use egg white in them. I use something else that creates a foaming effect in the Ramos Fizz, a natural substance. Some people use yucca root derivatives to do that, which is perfectly fine. I use something different yet. And some people like to put simple syrup in a Ramos Fizz, you know, to give it the hint of sweetness. I personally like to use regular sugar, which I am going to do. And a Ramos Fizz is a drink that usually should be shaken in a shaker and then divested in either a martini glass or a footed type pedestal glass. And for the sake of beauty and appearance, I'm going to go ahead and use the martini glass when I make the Ramos Fizz. So we're going to go about making the drink and seeing how pretty and attractive a drink it is, and it is absolutely delicious. And it is a drink that can be on the sweet side, depending on how much simple syrup, and again, I emphasize homemade simple syrup, not commercial simple syrup. Because as I've endlessly lectured before, commercial simple syrup involves a lot of times high fructose corn syrup, which is hardly an attractive thing because it's not good for you and I think it compromises the integrity of the drink. It's better if you're going to use simple syrup to make your own. It's simple to make because you're just doing sugar with hot water and dissolving the sugar usually in a three-quarters to one-quarter proportion. That is three-quarters sugar to one-quarter water, if even that much. But again, I'm going to use regular sugar, or bartender sugar can be used in this drink also. But anyway, again, we're going to go ahead and fill the shaker with ice when we make this drink. And again, this is an interesting drink. It's kind of a different sort of a drink. And the base alcohol for a Ramos Fizz is gin. So I'm going to go ahead and add the gin right now. And then we're going to add the orange flower water, which gives the Ramos Fizz the flavor that is unique to it. And again, orange flower water is not perhaps the easiest thing to find, but it's well worth seeking out because it makes the Ramos Fizz what it is. And then another ingredient that goes into a Ramos Fizz is lemon. And I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the juice of at least half a lemon into here. I might, in fact, add a little bit more. And again, the hand squeezing to get those essential oils and aromatics out of that peel and into the drink. And as I typically do, I am going to leave the spent shell in here. 
going to cut off a little bit of a garnish to use later and squeeze in just a tiny bit more lemon. And then another ingredient that goes into a Ramos fizz, although it seems incongruous and strange, is milk. And I'm going to go ahead and add some at this point in time. And you don't add a lot, but you do have to put milk in it. And then we're going to go ahead and add the sugar. And I've been very clever and creative here. I have combined the sugar with a foaming agent to make sure that we get uh, a little bit of foaming action in the drink. Now, with most drinks that are classified as fizzes, like gin fizzes and so on and so forth, the silver fizz, you actually add a little bit of carbonated water. And I am going to do that, although I want to let you know that with a Ramos fizz, that is not absolutely necessary. You don't have to add the sparkling water. But just for expediency's sake, and to show that this can be done, to add a little more petulance to the drink, I'm going to add a little splash of sparkling water. And again, hence the name fizz, because you do add sparkling water to it. But, again, you don't have to do it in the case of the Ramos Fizz. So I'm going to go ahead and shake the drink nicely in the cocktail shaker. With a little more vigor than I would perhaps shake a martini. And then I'm going to go ahead and divest it in the martini glass. Although, again, you can use the footed small pedestal glass also for the Ramos Fizz. And this particular drink, as I mentioned earlier, is very much beloved for brunch. In fact, one of the best ones that I have ever had was at the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco for brunch. And boy, that was an elegant establishment. And the craft of the bartenders and mixologists there was absolutely incredible. They really made good drinks at the Fairmont. And again, I'm going to add my little garnish here, minus the label, <laughs> and leave it in the, in the drink. And again, the presentation of the Ramos Fizz is somewhat attractive. It's a pretty color, kind of an off-white vanilla type color. And again, the flavor is unsurpassed. This is truly an enjoyable drink. It goes well, again, with brunch. You could have it before a meal. You could have it as, as a dessert because it does have a hint of sweetness to it. And it's different because of the orange flower water. Oh, that is truly lovely. Really nice. And you can see the kind of creamy finish of the drink as well. Now, now, some have felt that you could substitute a bit of hand-squeezed orange for the orange flower water. Don't even try. It's not the same. Go ahead and go to the trouble of finding orange flower water because, again, that's what makes the drink what it is. And again, thank you again for tuning into an episode of, of this program. And we want to emphasize again the need to keep our community safe and well spoken of by being moderate in our consumption of alcoholic beverages. And I think, again, too, it shows appreciation and respect for the mixologists when you do that and for the craft and for the trouble that they went to in making that cocktail just for you. And again, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Good Libations. I'm Ethel Andrews. I'm a mixologist. And we look forward to future episodes, more adventures in making truly fine cocktails. Thank you and goodbye.